All right, guys, so let's look at separating a mixture. In particular, we're going to talk about separating solids and liquids. So when we talk about solids here, we're going to talk about solids which have not been dissolved. It might be insoluble, might be above um, the level of solubility, etc., but they are not dissolved. So non-dissolved solids and a liquid. Um, basically, centrifugation is the first one we'll look at. Um, the physical property used to separate them is density. And there is a a force which is used here and is the centrifugal force. Um, so the mixture is placed in a centrifuge, um, which is a tube, and sorry, it's placed in a centrifuge tube, which is this one over here, and then it's put in the centrifuge. Now it is spun at a very high speed, and centrifugal forces push the more dense, the heavier solid towards the end. These ones, they when they're spinning, they're actually they'll spin flat like this and the solids will build up at the end and the liquid the meniscus will be that way and the liquid is there so we have a centrifugal force um, which pushes the dense solid to the bottom of the pellet um, we then use that to sorry at that point we'll then decant which means simply to pour off this liquid if you know if that's what we're going for and we'll have the solid pellet down the bottom. Um, this is also used to separate immiscible liquids. Now, immiscible means not mixing, so oil and water can be separated this way, although you don't really need to. Um, but blood and you know blood can be separated into red blood cells and white blood, and or plasma, and yeah. So that is centrifugation. Now, remember, is centrifugal force, um, centripetal force is so if you've got a circle here. Oh, that's a terrible circle. Centrifugal forces push out, centripetal forces push in. Um, filtration. This is the most common one. This is the one that you will have done in your classroom or you're going to do in your classroom. Um, and it's a very simple setup. You have a filter funnel, which is usually glass. You'll have filter paper, which has tiny little holes in it, little pores, and it acts like a sieve. And what you do is you place your mixture of solid and liquid. A good example is sand and water. You put your sand and water in here. The sand will be trapped up the top because sand is insoluble. And the water will eventually drip through the filter paper. Um, the physical property we're looking at is actually a mixture this time. It is size and solubility. So if something is insoluble, it, you can use this to separate it out. And size. It is too big. These solid particles are too big to fit through the pores in the um, filter paper. So the mixture is poured into the filter funnel, which has filter paper already in it. Um, and the residue, which is the solid part up here, is caught in the filter paper. The filtrate, which is the liquid down here, which goes through the filter paper, um, is caught in a beaker. All right, I hope that made lots of sense. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. We'll get back to you as quick as possible. and. We'll see you next time.